I'm Rosemary Calder. I'm the director of a health think tank established by Victoria University known as the Australian Health Policy Collaboration. It has that name because it works collaboratively with a range of experts and researchers all around Australia, not just at VU. And we work on chronic disease in particular, its impact on the population and the health of the population in particular. But also we work on the intersection of socioeconomic disadvantage and chronic disease. That's a particular value of being located and developed by Victoria University that we can look at what is one of the wicked problems in health in the Australian population. How I understand the term open access is rather more connected to what we do than how we might use open access research, although we do that as well. But as a think tank, set up to influence policy and public awareness, it's very important that all our material is open access. So we prepare policy issues, papers, we commission research, which is secondary research, looking at the evidence of an issue such as mental health and physical health in a population. And we publish, we self-publish those papers on the VU website. So they are immediately open access. They all have uh, an ISN number. They're registered as a publication with copyright. They're owned by Victoria University, but they're on a platform that's open to any search engine anywhere. And they can be searched obviously by a number of key words. So that's open access. And the purpose of it is to make new information, new analysis, new evidence, or curated data, which we do a lot of, immediately accessible to people who are interested in the issue. We also, of course, make good use of open access materials. As a part of VU, we have access to journals and the like through the university. And we obviously work with the library to find materials that are relevant to what we're looking at. We've just done some work on brain and body health. But what is most useful, of course, is that we have access to open access sources because they're published in a more timely fashion than academic work so that we can access the latest thinking and debate in a very useful manner for us. So we see open access as working both ways. It's important that our material is open access and we've, we benefit enormously from having access through open sources to current research and current thinking. We've had some really good results from the publications that we have put out publicly on, on the website of VU. But most particularly, what we've probably built our strength on is taking data on health that is held by various government agencies, much of it published by those agencies, but we've taken it and curated it in different ways. And most particularly, we've curated it by area, so postcode primary health network catchment or state or territory boundaries. And we've made that accessible and available for interrogation on a website that is hosted elsewhere, but you access through the VU website. So we've been able to influence people's awareness of health risks in population groups and communities in a way that hasn't been done before. So we've made good use of other people's public data. We've curated it in a specific way and we've made it open access, of course, no cost, easy to search to anybody who has a concern about the health issues in their community. Open in order to, from our perspective, is in order to inform and influence as a think tank, which is an unusual thing. We're set up to curate information and evidence and to translate that to information and influence for both the public and the political sector, for government agencies and health service and other providers. So for us, open in order to is about being able to 
inform people of emerging evidence and its relevance to policy and to practice and to influence people to take up that evidence and import it into policy and practice. So for us it's an endeavour to really position the Australian Health Policy Collaboration and Victoria University in a very significant way to influence the thinking about what we need to do to improve the health of the population and particularly the health of communities of socioeconomic disadvantage. Mm -hmm.